Welcome to Painting Made Easy with April May. I'm April May and today we're going to be doing part four of Painting Dakota. So let's get started. So I'm still just refining the details here. And then I made the mistake, I start adding in the whiskers at this point. And really, this should have been the very last thing that I did. I don't know why I did it at this point in the painting. I just got a little carried away, I guess. But this really should be the last thing you do. So now anything that I do to her face... Uh, any tweaking to the details I'm now going to have to work around those whiskers I'm still working on getting that paw to where I like it. I do finally get there. I'm just not quite there yet. And I have sped this portion of the video up just a little bit faster. <clears throat> just because I'm kind of just going in and tweaking the same things over and over again until I get it to where I like it. And then we're going to speed or slow the, the camera back down when we get to doing the very final details where we do the highlights we're going to tone down the whites and the eyes we're going to darken the no nose up just a little bit because it shouldn't be quite so white and then we're going to go back in and highlight it a little bit so when we get to that point I'm going to slow the video down again
So now I'm, I've taken a shade of blue and now I'm doing the actual highlights. When you have when you have black, you don't want to highlight it with white. You want to highlight it with blue. Blue's going to make it look shiny. White would make it look gray, like she had gray hair. So the blue I really like because it it's really going to make her look shiny. Now, the blue I'm using isn't actually this bright. The lighting above my easel is what makes this look kind of the blue so bright. Um, it's a little bit more muted than that in, in reality. And I'm still using, I'm still following the growth of the hair and using short strokes. Here I'm actually using a rake brush to do this. And I'm going back over and I'm doing black on the top of the nose. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back and do the blue highlight in a minute. I didn't like the blue against the gray. And there's the blue highlight. I'm still fighting with these paws at this point. <laughs> and I put a lot of effort into something that's like within half an inch of the edge of my canvas. Which if I go and frame this, most of this is going to be hidden by the frame. But I don't want to just leave it undone. So I've got to do something. Even though it's kind of right on the edge.
I'm kind of adding a shine to her back behind her head and then defining the areas beside her body because I need it I need you to be able to tell that her body is back there and that the flooring is back there but I don't want it distinctive I want it to just kind of blend into the background with just a hint of her pot her body back there And as you can tell, I've already signed this painting, and I've always done that. I've always, when I get very close to the end of the painting, I'll sign it, set it aside, look at it for a couple of days, and figure out what's bothering me about the painting, and then go in and do a final detail <clears throat> push to get it all done, get it all detailed out. So I, when I signed, I realized I didn't like how dark the fur around her face was, the, the tan spots. And then in a little bit, I'm going to go in and tweak her eyes. The white, in, the white around her eyes is, is way too bright. And then I go in and fix one eye a little bit also. So now I'm going to start working on the eyes here in a second. And so I've zoomed in so you can see the detail. I've also slowed the video down a little bit. And I'm just darkening up those corners because they shouldn't be that bright. And here I'm drawing out, getting rid of some of the shadowing because I have it drawn out too far. I need to refine that a little bit here. So here I'm actually, it's hard to tell, but I'm actually darkening up the white on her face a little bit with a very light gray. The only part I want left white is the very top portion of the white that's at the top of her head. The rest of it needed to be toned down just a little bit. But the light above my easel is kind of washing all of this out, so you can't really see it that well.
So now that I've gone in and fixed that base color, I'm going in and kind of adding some fur strokes in there to indicate the fur on her, on the white part of her face. I'm adding a hot, uh, some shadowing to that nostril that's pink. Now I'm adding back in the kind of the freckles or spots on her face because I lost those when I redid the white. Now I'm bringing the black down just a little bit on this side. It was up just a little too high. So I'm taking little short strokes and bringing them into the white to kind of narrow that a little bit. And I'm adding some more detail to the eye. And sometimes you need to learn when to just leave well enough alone. I started messing with the right eye, which would be her left eye, and then I didn't like it anymore. So I had to go back in and fix what I had just done because I didn't like the way it turned out. So sometimes you just need to learn to leave well enough alone. So these are going to be some of the final tweaks to this painting, and then it's done. And of course, I've already signed it, so I don't have to do that portion of it. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe so you're notified of my upcoming paintings.